Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to replace the switches for Logitech G203 Prodigy mouse. Uh, the issue with this mouse is that uh, it has a double click uh, when you least expect it, you know. And uh, lately it is happening more and more often, so a switch replacement would, is the uh, only solution for this issue. Um, my warranty period has expired, so uh, there's nothing to lose with this. Uh, as you can see, this is a G203 model and uh, sometimes it is marketed as uh, 102 on uh, different markets. But here in Serbia it is 203. Those are new switches, uh, Huano Blue Shell. I have purchased it over them over the eBay and uh, cost was about like one or two dollars per per piece so we have two pieces right here I will open it oh yeah Yeah, they are they are a replacement for Omron switches that are uh, installed by default in each almost each uh, Logitech mouse. Uh, those Omron switches were previously built in uh, produced in Japan, but uh, uh, there are there were some changes and now they are produced in China and the quality is much much lower. So that's why um, this double click issue appears very often in these mouses. Let's start. First, uh, I will open this mouse by unscrewing this one little screw at the bottom. Yeah, it's pretty small screw, so I have to use this pretty small bit to unscrew it. Now in order to open it, we will have to pry it a little. Oh yeah, another one, and probably here. Actually, I, I have removed these pads before just to check out uh, if there are any screws, but I forgot. It was quite a while ago. Yeah, it opens up now. Okay, here we go. So, right here we can see the Actually, I'm not sure if you can see, but there, there they are, Omron switches that are main cause of double click, double click issue. So, what we should do now is to remove the entire PCB. And... Uh, try to uns and try to unsolder those problematic switches okay let me see if there's oh there's another screw here and another one here Should be. Hmm. Maybe we should remove the, this uh, PCB as well that is used for the side switches. Uh, by the way, those are not problematic because I don't really use them often, you know, except in some apps or maybe games. But I rarely have time for games, so I don't really use them often. Oh, 
Okay, it's a little bit dirty, but we'll clean it up. Okay, here it is. So we have now we, we now have access to soldering points where we should desolder desolder these switches there at three points one two three here it's on the other side and just solder on new ones okay i will start by placing a little bit of solder on existing soldering points so we can desolder it more easily later okay I will use a solder wick now to get all the old solder onto the wick. Okay, in the meantime we managed to desolder one switch and here it is. And right here we have three holes that we will clean up now so we can more we can solder new switches more easily yeah that should be fine so now i will desolder the second one and we will get on to installing new ones Okay, I have used the solder rig to remove all residue of the old solder from the switches. And now they are those true holes are nice and clean, so we can go on with installing the new switches. So, here are the new switches and uh, I will just install them in the place of the old ones. So, I will it is important to keep the switch at the same side, so this uh, these sides go up here, as you can see. Or you can just rewind the, this video and you will see how the old ones were installed. I will just solder those old ones a little. New ones, sorry. For start. You should not keep your soldering soldering iron for too long on these switches because something could melt and malfunction malfunction later. So let me see. Yep, seems decent enough. We will check later how it works, but uh, for now let's solder the second one as well. Okay, second one is now finished, so let's, so I'll give it uh, a little bit of cleanup because we can see some dust and all kind of gunk around here and uh, we will test it out.
So I will just turn on this fixed mouse and let's see if it works. Okay, it got lights on. LEDs, that's that's a good sign. So let's uh, let's open up something. Yep, it works quite fine. Uh, but uh, let me test this double clicking issue. So, mm, simply said, uh, when you click uh, once on something, I mean anything, it will uh, just perform a double click. But for now, I don't see the issue with that. So, let me just try something like this. Yeah, it would open. It would open this twice, or yeah, it appears that there is no double clicking issues anymore. So, this uh, operation was successful.